What's going on everybody? Chase with IDUB Hockey, hanging out today with Kyle, who's the Associate Brand Manager of Skates for Bauer Hockey. We're here in Exeter, New Hampshire with their full line of new Supreme Mock Skates. Can't wait to get into the tech and spec, but walk me through what style of player and what style of skater, more importantly, the Supreme line is built for, and then also parlay that into the overall fit profile. Absolutely. So our Supreme family is designed for a skater that we consider a little bit more technical. Uh, so they generally have a longer stride. They're, they're more focused on where that blade contact is mm -hmm. through every aspect, through acceleration, transitions, top end speed, and stability movements of the skating stride. And then as far as the fit profile goes, really exciting to see this three fit system return once again. So walk me through what that is and really what that does and gives the players out there. Absolutely. Our three fit system is designed for fitting all aspects of foot uh, in, inside the boot. So in previous years, you know, if your foot was generally a little bit wider or a little bit taller, you had to change family of boot in order to get that fit into your skate. What we've done here is we've brought that fit extension into both our Vapor and our Supreme families. So now your foot no longer dictates your skate, but your performance on ice dictates your skate. And like you mentioned, this is the pure power skate here compared to the more agile East and West player that's maybe looking at the Vapor line. But let's talk about this new mock top to bottom just looks amazing this year um, but under the hood we're seeing some really cool upgrades too so walk me through you know a couple of the key upgrades that are really accentuating that supreme power profile absolutely so we'll start up top here so we've introduced a new tongue we've got a new insert in here what this is going to allow us to do is really flex forward over the top of our toes we consider that the load aspect of the skating stride but also it's going to recoil much faster than our previous season uh, our tongue there so that's going to help with the explode factor of the mm -hmm. stride working our way down to the boot construction uh, so we've upgraded our boot construction a bit here you can kind of see it in those nice details taking kind of some insights from the stick family we're in a 12k carbon weave here what that does for us chase is it allows us to go a little bit thinner on the overall carbon fiber mm -hmm. but also increase our stiffness continuing with stiffness Absolutely. here we have the unibody construction that we saw first debut in that ultrasonic seeing it return once again so maybe if i you know had been sleeping under a rock hadn't <laughs> seen what this unibody is walk me through what that is and you know what i'm going to feel out there with that absolutely so now we're talking on the underside of the skate here uh, this unibody outsole what it does is it wraps up in the lower portion uh, of your heel here mm -hmm. it creates a bit more stiffness for us so if we think about that powerful skater you know their main focus is transferring energy through the bottom of the skate to mm -hmm. maximize that output so these wings on the outside help stiffen that lower portion of the skate while yep. we're getting a little bit more flex on the upper portion of our skate and then so we have a lot of performance a lot of improvements on range of motion especially with your fully injected tenon guard which is one of my favorites in the game today just because of how comfortable and how flexible it is but it's so comfortable right out of the box. You know, we baked them yesterday before we came out here and uh, they just feel broken in already. So walk me through a couple key features we find inside the boot that are also making the game so much comfortable out there. Absolutely. So our big thing with the comfort here is really amplifying both our fit around the ankles, mm -hmm. uh, but also, you know, extending that through the toe cap as well. We wanted to make sure that this was a skate that you mold or you get out of the box and you put your foot in there and you don't want to be thinking about your feet hurting or, or you know, any issues down there on the ice. So we said, you know, let's get that skate to be as comfortable as possible right out of the box. And it goes from heel to toe too. And we see a little bit difference in the toe as well. So walk me through the new toe cap this year. We do, yeah. So in our toe caps, and it's everything for an asymmetrical toe cap. So we'll see it in mock. We'll also see it in our next price point there. Uh, we've extended the fit in our fit one and our fit twos. Mm -hmm. So we go, we go about two millimeters wider here to allow for a little bit more relief, again, accentuating that comfort in our skates. And last but not least, we see another change through the eyelet system this year. Looks like some technology we may have seen in the past now being upgraded into the adult version. So walk me through the philosophy behind it and what players are gonna capture and experience from it. Absolutely, uh, great eye. So up top here, we have what we're calling our Amp Flex. Uh, so those that may have followed a previous line or, or seen it in the Vapor line or our juniors, that was that Motion Flex Max. Mm -hmm. What we've done here for the senior level player or someone who's a little bit more elite, uh, we've increased the location here. So we generally at a third and fourth eyelet for that Motion Flex. Now with our Amp Flex, we've raised that up between the second and third eyelet. What that does for us is it still allows for great support and wrap on the lower portion of the foot but providing a bit more range of motion up top. Again, accentuating that load aspect of the stride. And last but not least, below the boot, we see uh, a placeholder for your still here. Um, you know, and again, if you were sleeping under that rock, you might have missed this uh, choose your blade system. We are now seeing also in the secondary price point. Walk me through what that is and what my options are for steel. Absolutely. Yep. So this uh, this insert here, it's going to work generally like your steel would in a, in a normal fitting. Uh, so you can you know put the skate on, you can walk on it, get that, that true feel for the skate. But what it allows us to do and allows the consumers to do now is pick the performance that best matches their game. 
So we've got the option of three steels in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. We've seen it with Hyperlite and now it's carrying over to our Supreme line mm -hmm. and we've extended it now to our second price point as well. And that's just so exciting because now you're picking the skate line that best fits your skating stride. You're picking the skate blade that best fits your needs out on the ice. And then for overall performance, you could also pick the Pro Sharp profiling through Ice Warehouse. Now, if you're looking for another elite option, but maybe not with every single bell and whistle you guys have in the game, but still want that elite level performance, you're probably looking at the M5 Pro. So walk me through a couple key upgrades that we're gonna find from top to bottom here. Absolutely. So our M5 Pro, again, is that second price point, and we're driving a lot of inspiration off of our top price point of that mock skate. So one thing you'll notice right away up top is that flexible tendon guard. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to bring down that load and explode aspect that we, we've come to like on their mock and allow that for our second price point players. So you're still getting that flex for that load aspect and the explode aspect. Transitioning to the front, we still have our classic felt tongue, which has been an exceptional tongue for us, really focusing on comfort and fit across mm -hmm. the top of the laces. And then as we work our way down, you know, we see that boot construction is essentially the ultrasonic build. Uh, so we're taking that, really reinforcing it in terms of stiffness. So it's mm -hmm. achieving that, that elite level of play, uh, but at a value package for our second price point. And what's really cool too, like we just talked about too, is that you have your choose your blade option here. So you also can get, you know, the best blade for your game. Let's talk about the M5 Pro Junior Skate Absolutely. here. So this Absolutely. is a really exciting uh, junior option here, and we see some pretty significant changes compared to the adult. So walk me through what those would be. For sure. So again, we're carrying that tendon guard over because we know that flex is important, especially for that elite consumer. Mm -hmm. We wanted to also have that inspiration from Mox. So if you look closely, we do actually have Amp Flex on our top price point junior here. Cool. And again, that's located between the second and third eyelet, different from our motion flex that was in the third and fourth eyelet. So we wanted to make sure that we were still getting the stiffness down low and that wrap of the skate for control, but increasing the flex up top for that range of motion story. So now moving on to the performance level skates here, you know, what type of players looking within this range? And let's start off with the higher end price point with the M4. Absolutely. So our M4 skates essentially are, you know, it's our value performance level skate. It's still getting some of that key tech that we see in our elite level skates, similar to that boot construction there. But essentially what we're looking to do is, you know, get you into the right fit, get you the right performance and balance out your game. Yeah, the fact that this is still offered in that three fit system is very cool for this level of player. But even with that fiber composite boot right out of the box, just so much stiffness for that power profile, but inside too, just a ton of comfort. So walk me through what makes this just so comfy. Absolutely. It's really, it's a combination of what you said, Chase. Mm -hmm. So it's our boot construction, which is very thermoformable. So think of a molding process of the skate, mm -hmm. uh, but also our ankle pads there too. So they react well to heat. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially we want to make sure that this is the most comfortable skate for a player shopping at a performance level price point. So now for that junior player, you also have a very unique M4 option. We do see some share technologies, but we see some junior specific technologies too. So for that young superstar out there, what are they gonna notice in their game improved on the skate? Absolutely. So you'll notice here right on the side here, we are messing around with the eyelets a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice we have a Motion Flex Max. So carry over from our season 21 junior line there with the 3X. Uh, now we're increasing a second notch. So we're between third and fourth and also second and third eyelet. Mm -hmm. Really what we wanted to focus on here is this is that developing skater. We wanna make sure that they are getting the ankle wrap and support that they need, mm -hmm. but not fighting the boot when it comes to forward flex. So we wanted to enhance that development for the skater at such a critical time in their life. And then also the graphics too. I like that extra hit of yellow on the boot. Might have to go custom out a little bit to my senior skate here, but hey, I mean, these look great. And then we move on to the M3 here too. Uh, no slouch in the graphics department, definitely no slouch in the performance department. So walk me through a couple key features that really make this great for that maybe new to competitive hockey player looking to really take their game to the next level. Absolutely. Our M3 build, it is a new boot construction for our Supreme line. Mm -hmm. uh, we did notice some carryover from the X3.7. What this allows us to do is exactly at Chase, really explode those graphics, mm -hmm. make them pop off the shelf, uh, but also that construction becomes a bit lighter too. So from a previous year skate, you'd be looking at that same price point. This case going to offer a lot more lightweight features for that competitive level player. We still have our edge holder in the, in the uh, bottom section of this boot here. Mm -hmm. So again, allowing players to quick swap their steel uh, should they need to, or if they want to dabble in profiling. Uh, and then overall, you know, this is a skate that's built off of our D&EE traditional Supreme molds. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are getting a bit more volume with this particular skate. So now if you're looking to get out and play the greatest game on earth for the first time, you're likely looking at the M1 skate. So walk me through why this is so great for that recreational level player. Absolutely. Comfort and confidence are key. Mm -hmm. If you're first stepping out onto the ice, you know, that's a big hurdle to get over. We wanted to make sure that this skate is going to achieve both a comfort fit mm -hmm. and also confidence on the ice. So if you look at the, the liner, you know, we've 
we've, we've generally made these skates a little bit wider to allow for more foot types to fit in, mm -hmm. uh, maybe an extra layer of socks to keep the feet warm. Mm -hmm. uh, then also down below, we've transitioned our light speed two holders mm -hmm. to have that 13 foot radius. So increasing a little bit more balance. So again, overall, we're in the Supreme family. So you still have that aspirational tie to a Supreme skate, mm -hmm. uh, but we wanted to explode and make sure that we were looking at comfort and confidence for these users. You can just tell by the level of thickness and the ankle foams and just how the boot is naturally shaped right out of the box that this is gonna be so comfortable. Like you said, that confidence is gonna follow too. Well, Kyle, thank you so much for having us out here and walking us through this very exciting mock line. Thank you very much, appreciate it. And then for you at home, then wanna check out all the skates from Bauer Hockey, make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com.